What's up guys? Today we're really excited to show you a first look at the Z77 OC formula from AS Rock. It is their overclockers motherboard. Everything on this motherboard is catered to the overclocker. So let's just get right into it and check it out. The Z77 OC formula box is actually much larger than most motherboard boxes that we have seen. On the front, it looks like there's a picture of a Lamborghini. Uh, this is kind of the theme of this whole motherboard is fast and speed. So of course that's fitting. Um, and what's actually really cool about this is it actually opens up. So when you open this up, you can kind of, it kind of, there's a little window here. You can kind of see the motherboard a little bit and it goes over all of the actual features. All of the overclocking features are listed here. So if you are at the store or something like that, you can really kind of see what all this has if you are an overclocker. Now on the back here, it kind of looks like a dashboard a little bit, kind of, you know, the whole speed thing, um, seven gigahertz CPU frequency and, you know, 3000 megahertz for the memory. This is what they want you to get or what they, you know, what's expected. Obviously, not everybody's going to get up to this, but this is what they have got on this board. It also goes over some of the other features. There's a lot of information on here and on the little pull-out section, but let's just get into it. I'm sure that's what everybody wants to see. So it should open simple enough here. Go like this. And we can see the motherboard here. And what's really interesting about this, it is packed extremely well. You have this large styrofoam on, you know, we're used to seeing that on a lot of motherboards, but it's actually on the components as well as keep everything nice and tight and nicely packaged in there. Another cool thing about this is if we take this out here and we take this part off, you know, you can see the board here, which we're, again, we're going to get into in just a second, but this is all really nicely packaged and I really, really like that. Let's get that out of the way and get into the accessories. There's two boxes here, so we'll just open this side first. And this looks like a user's guide of some sorts. And we have a lot of other information. Here's all of our user's guides on this side. So this goes over the, the Virtue MVP information. This goes over, over the all the XFast, uh, ASRox XFast. So you have XFast LAN, XFast USB, and XFast RAM. Um, just how to use those different programs. You have your software and setup guide, and you have your main user's guide here. And of course, inside of there, we have our driver CD with all of your drivers and some software as well. Now on the opposite side, I think that's it in here. Yeah. So now on the opposite side over here, oh cool, it has this uh, really cool, um, little accessory bag here. It says OC for formula right there. Um, we open it up and it should have all of our accessories inside. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. We have our IO shield. It's actually pretty heavy, it's kind of weird. Um, nice IO shield right there, everything is labeled on it. This looks like a single SLI connector, I would guess. Could be wrong, gotta get it open here. Yes, it is. So you have your SLI bridge right here. Put that back. Next thing in our bag is, this is a USB uh, expansion slot cover right there. We have a USB, three and a half inch USB front panel right here, and it has the internal USB 3.0 connector right there. Looks like, okay, so these are um, what AS Rock is calling their OC stands, and what they are is they're, they're little plugs, I don't know if you can see them there, that if you're an overclocker, obviously, if you know, if you're a real extreme overclocker, you're not gonna be using a case to, you know, for your overclocking, it's just, you're not gonna do it inside of a case. What these are, there's little, these are little plugs that go into the holes on the motherboard, and they're gonna lift the motherboard off of the ground a little bit, just for you to do your OC work. Pretty cool that that is included. 
What else do we have in here? Okay, so we have some thermal paste, and this is the Gilded, uh, I'm not really sure which one it is, but it is their more high-end thermal paste, and you usually don't see thermal paste included with motherboards, especially, you know, actually name brand stuff. So this is their, o this is it, this is their OC Extreme thermal paste. It's good to see that is included as well. Of course, you're gonna want good thermal paste if you are overclocking. We have a set of SATA 60 cables one set there should be another one in here I would think let's get everything else out of here so we have two more sets of SATA cables so we can see those right here and we have an ASRock OC formula case sticker right there and we have two looks like SATA to Molex power connections right there and I believe that is it I don't think there's anything else in here so let's go ahead and get into the actual motherboard. Upon first look at the motherboard, you can see that AS Rock has gone with a black and gold or black and yellow design. I really, really like this. I'm from Pittsburgh, so of course, you know we love anything black and gold. I can see a lot of people, you know, Steelers fans or Penguins fans using this motherboard for a Penguins or Steelers themed mod. Now, this motherboard is a little bit larger than your normal ATX motherboard. Um, it's called a CEB form factor, and you don't have to worry that much if you, you know, already have an ATX case. You just want to make sure there is a little bit extra room inside. Um, all of the holes here will fit your normal ATX fittings, but it extends just a little bit larger, so you may want to watch out for that. At the center of the board is, of course, your CPU socket. And now when you're overclocking, the thing that's going to heat up the most besides your CPU is actually your power delivery components. So ASRock has installed two very large heat sinks right here. And they even have a small little fan here to help dissipate some of that heat. But if you're going to be doing extreme overclocking, you're more likely going to be doing water cooling. So they have installed two water cooling channels in both of these heat sinks. And you have two openings right here, and these openings use a 3 8 fitting. Talking about power delivery components, this motherboard features a 12 plus 4 power phase design. The chokes right here are a premium alloy choke, and the caps, which you can see right here, are a multiple filter cap, which is a combination of MLCC, DIP, and post caps all in one. Also, the MOSFETs are a, are a dual stack MOSFET design. And finally, all of your power delivery components are digital. That's gonna be better for better for power delivery. Okay, so I flipped the motherboard around so you guys can see at the top. A lot of this stuff was hidden, you know, by the large heat sinks. We have our power connection right here for the CPU, and they have the normal eight pin, but they have an extra four pin as well. And these are high density connectors. And what that means is the, the way these connectors are designed, they're gonna reduce power loss as well as temperature. Right here, you have two CPU fan connectors, and I like the dual design, I always do, just for the fact that a lot of the high-end CPU coolers use, use two fans, and you wanna control each fan independently, so having two CPU fan connectors makes that possible. Moving over to the memory slots, you have four memory slots, and they are, of course, color-coded, black and gold, again, as I like to see. Now, with this motherboard, ASRock says it supports up to memory 3000 megahertz, which is very, very high. Um, of course, we're gonna have to test that in our testing, but that is, I think, the highest rating we've ever seen for memory on a motherboard. Starting up top here, you have your debug LED. I love seeing this on a motherboard. You know, if your motherboard's faulting or something like that, this is gonna display a code, and that's gonna let you know where your motherboard is actually faulting. You have a set of dip switches right here, and what these do is these will turn off your PCI Express lanes. The reason you may wanna do that is because if you are overclocking, your PCI Express lanes will fail, you know, if something goes wrong, and normally you would have to take out that video card, and if you have water cooling installed or something like that, it's gonna take quite some time. What this does is this allows you to easily turn off those PCI Express lanes you have your rapid OC buttons, a plus and minus button, and that allows you to instantly overclock your system and change the different settings up or down. You have the V probe right here, and what this does is these are contacts right here for different parts of your system, which you can check the voltages. Very easily right here on the side, you can do that with a multi-tester. You have your 24-pin ATX 
power connector right here. And in the middle of the board, you have your USB 3.0 header and you have two three pin fan connectors. This board has quite a lot of SATA connectors. There are actually 10 total. So the black ones are SATA 3 gig and the yellow ones are SATA 6 gig. Now the SATA 6 gig ones, two of them are controlled by the Z77 chipset and of course four extra ones are controlled by the Marvel controller. Now these are in a 90 degree fashion so if you do have longer video cards they're one not going to block them and two they're going to be still easy to connect when you do have a video card installed. Moving down to the bottom of the board, you have your front panel connections right here. You have power and reset buttons. And I really like this just for the fact that, you know, this is an overclocking board and it's most likely not going to be inside of a case. So it's going to be very easy to reset and power on your system. You have one, two, three USB 2.0 headers. You have two fan headers right here. You have a three pin one right here and a four pin fan connection right there. You have your power for your PCI Express lanes if you need it. Now, there's two things I don't like about this connection. One is that it's a Molux connector. I really don't like that. I would have rather have seen a SATA power connection. Two, it is angled out this way. So it's pointing down. The reason I don't like that is for the fact that if you do in some cases have this installed in a case, the Molux connections are large and you can't really bend them or anything like that. And this may block your power supply or the connector may get bent. You have a COM port right here, and you have your HD audio connections right here. As far as expansion slots go, you have two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots. You have a PCI Express 2.0 X4 slot, and two PCI Express X1 slots. As far as connections go on the back of the board, you have a PS2 dual slot right here. You have two USB 3.0 ports. You have a clear CMOS button. Again, this is always good to see on a motherboard. You have two more USB 3.0 ports. You have an HDMI port right there. You have gigabit ethernet. You have two more USB 3.0 ports. You have four USB 2.0 ports and you have your audio right there. Now, one thing I wanted to mention real quick before we wrap this up is that there are also 15 thermal sensors on this motherboard so you can track all of that via the BIOS and I'm pretty sure ASRock's monitoring software as well. So this about wraps it up. This is the Z77 OC Formula motherboard from ASRock. Make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org for a full written review. And remember, if you like our unboxing videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.